Hello and welcome to Drunk A, a show that proves that any plot makes sense at the bottom of a bottle. I'm your host, Chris the Nerd, and here's how this nonsense works. It all starts with me getting myself good and plastered. Then I sit down to watch a subbed episode of an anime. Afterwards, when I'm good and lit, I get myself back in front of this camera and do my damnedest to explain exactly what I just watched to all of you. Hilarity will hopefully ensue. So join me as we watch this week's installment, the first episode of Kill La Kill. Kill La Kill is a fall 2013 show from Studio Trigger. It was the first full-length series done by Trigger after doing short net animations Inferno Cop and Little Witch Academia. Kill La Kill got a lot of early buzz because its writer-director duo also worked on Gurren Lagann, which is the greatest thing made by humans. The show is about a girl named Ryoko Matoi as she comes to Hanoji Academy looking for her father's killer, a killer that she believes to be the student council president of the academy, Satsuki Kiryuin. She must then fight her way to the top in order to bring her and her empire down. The show is essentially a mess of fan service and losing your way due to dry bodies. Might I recommend some moisturizer? Maybe then you'd be better prepared to fight the evils of clothing and the restrictions that that brings with it. Mm, yeah. Yeah, that's the plot according to this blank piece of paper. But it's no matter. I want you to sit there. That was a terrible throw. So let's cut ahead a little bit and start drinking. Uh, oh my god. See, everything about this is gonna suck because this is canned. This may be the worst thing I've ever had to drink in my life. Oh my god. Have you ever have you ever gone into like a mall? <coughs> oh. Have you ever gone into a mall and peed in a urinal? And then some of the splashback has gone into your mouth. And you're like, ah, ah, that's this. A little, little crazy. <sighs> oh, yeah, I don't blame you. One to be funny. One for the show. One for the recap. The Father, the Spirit, and the Holy Ghost. I just watch Kill a Kill. No. Oh. The first episode. If only I had thorns like a thistle. Kill a Kill. Mm -hmm. I've seen it once before. But that was a long time ago. Mm. And I just watched the first episode again for the first time in forever. I won't be alone. So, uh, what fucking happened? Oh, I am. Um, the Kill a Kill is the story of Ruko Matoy. So, Kill a Kill is the story. Uh, Ryuko, and uh, Ryuko, go oh, oh my god, I'm hiccuping. Ryuko goes to fucking Fantasyland. So uh, Ryuko goes. Uh, she, uh, she's her dad. Oh my god, uh, I remember this vaguely, but I don't remember what I just saw. Ryuko, my toy. Uh, lives in fantasy land and she goes to there's a school and the school starts class uh, uh, by talking about the Nazis and they say that it was the 1930s uh, and the Nazis were bad uh, yeah and then the episode ends The Nazis were bad. And then... Oh, uh, fucking... <laughs> so, the Nazis were bad. And then Ryoko shows up. So there's this guy. And he's a, uh, a boxer. And... He, no. <gasps> First, we meet Ryoko. And she is vagabond. And she goes to... 
a fiction town, and she meets a little boy named Mataro, and Mataro is a thief, and Mataro steals Ryoko's lemon, and that introduces her to Mako, Makan Shoku, uh, and Mako. I think I'm. I feel vomit. Uh, Mako. So Mako appears, uh, and she becomes Ryoko's best friend. Oh my God! I shouldn't be down here. Mako is Ryoko's new best friend, and in their best friendness, Ryoko comes to school. And, um, the school is run by Satsuki Kurian, and also Ira Gamaguri. And Ira's, like, is, come on, muscle, yeah, like, like those puppies. And Ryoko is like, somebody here kills my dad. And Satsuki's like, that's probably me. And so Ryoko has oh, got to fight her way to the top and be like, well, Satsuki Kreen, I must stop you from ever being able to kill my dad again. And so she does that by fighting a boxer who I don't even know his name. His name was like Shuko Fukurudu. I think. And Shuku Fukurudu is like, I'm gonna punch you. And that's what he does. He punches Ruko. But she's got a trick up her sleeve. And that trick is retreat. And she, uh, she leaves. How y'all doing? So, Ruko. I'm right here. So Ryoko is like, I'm gonna fuck. It. There's kill a kill right there. There's the credits. I paused it. Ugh. So Ryoko's like, I'm gonna leave because I keep getting punched by this dude. And to prevent further punch, uh, punching, she goes to her old house where her daddy died, and she's like, Oh no, daddy, what have I wrought? And daddy, in from uh, from beyond the grave, is like, Don't worry, Ryoko. I have given you a uniform with which to fight. And she puts on the uniform. And she goes back to the academy. And um, she refights the boxer. And the boxer's like, ah, Shuko Fukurudu does not easily get fooled by the likes of Ryoko Matoa. And Ryoko's like, I'm going to beat the shit out of you. And she does it. She beats the shit out of the guy. And he doesn't stand a fucking... Oh, I got the hiccups. Chance. And so she punches him to death. And Satsuki Kuryuin and Iragam Mugori and Inomuta and Jack Rizé are like... Oh, this girl's got fucking spunk. How are we gonna fight spunk? Uh, and they fight... <clears throat> and they fight spunk by sending the boxer guy after her. And the boxer guy gets punched until his clothes fall off. <laughs> like you do. Y'all remember that when you played fight with your friends as a kid? You did, and... You punched each other so hard that their fucking pants fell off. My f best friend from when I was f 14 still won't fucking talk to me. Because I punched him so hard, his pants flew off. <laughs> that didn't happen. I punched him and his pants fell off, but we're still friends. I lied. Uh, so she beats uh, the punch guy. Oh... And he dies, I think. And 
Satsuki's like, you're got a lot of punching to go with those scissors. Oh, f fuck. I forgot about scissors. So Ryoko gets scissors, right? That she finds at her dad's this is a fucking dead place. And she gets them. And she's gonna use them. Um. And so that's where the first episode oh, ends. The pun the boxer, Gashuku Fukurugu, is like he tries to punch her, but he's like, I'm punching you in tits, and I'm punching you in the cooch, and those should be <laughs> your weak points, but they're not weak points, and they have no effect. So she slices him with a scissor sword, and he dies, and the episode ends with Satsuki and Yura Gimmergri. So that was kill, kill, the kill. I think I got it. I nailed it. Yeah. Ugh. Maybe we'll revisit kill a kill because I might have been only like ninety percent correct. <laughs> So thank you for watching this episode of Drunkame. It's always nice to have some enablers, but I have a special task for you in the coming weeks until the next episode. I would like for you guys to vote on the next episode of whatever I'm going to watch. That's right, the power is being literally put in your fingertips. I want you, all you've got to do, it's very simple, you just have to post a comment on which of the following you want me to watch for the next edition of Drunkame. Would you like me to watch Steins Gate, Chaos Head, or robotics notes. That's right, it's the semicolon trinity. All you've got to do is vote on which one you want me to watch, and that's what I'll watch on next week's edition of Drunkamay. So thank you for watching, and don't forget to order another round. See you next time.